Scoop. Hello and welcome to Juicy Scoop, a very special episode. First time I've had three guests at one time, three of the hottest realtors in the world, Million Dollar Listing, Josh and Josh, Josh Altman, Josh Flagg, and Bobby Boyd are all here. Welcome to Juicy Scoop. Thank yeah. you very much for having us. Thanks for having us. I am thrilled to have you guys. We are going out to dinner tonight. Um, this will air in a couple days, so the, the people will not be there, unfortunately. So Josh will have to call the paparazzi. Absolutely. I've already on it. Because we're going to Craig's, yeah. and we're ha- supposed to have dinner with Lala. Let's hope she doesn't flake, because you just said you've been binging Vanderpump, yeah, really and you've got lots of questions. Yeah, I got, I got, oh, I got lots of questions. Yeah. <laughs> How many are coming? Uh, how many? How many? What are coming? How many paparazzi are coming to take photos? Well, I only. I don't have like Craig's. several. I just texted my my guy at TMZ, so hopefully he'll pull through. Okay, great. You do that, of course. They Shut camp the... out there anyways. Bro. Well, you know, never know. Maybe it's an off name. Maybe they went to Dantana's. You know, you always got to be prepared. By the way, I don't want to go. I don't. I don't like it when you take me to Dantana's. <laughs> you should be happy. I'm taking you. Period. Can we? Just I know. Get... Okay, let's get to the can, juice. No, can we just what? get this out now, though? What? Who's, pay, who's paying? Tonight? Yeah, who's paying? I'm down to pay my portion. <laughs> because I'm just saying, there's going to be a lot of us, and it's like, are we... Listen. I've already thought all about it. Okay. <laughs> and it, what I, I kind of thought that you two should split it. Fine. Because there's three Let's other ladies at the table. I'm down with that. And you're a couple. I agree. So, Done. like, essentially... Right, is your husband coming? No. Oh, no. So yes. we're saving no. money that way. Oh, we are saving a, <laughs> oh, what a great strategy. What a great con. Yeah. Yeah. Cheap a date. Con. So then I look like a sad single mom like Lala. Yeah. You're not going to let sad little No, Lala we feel really for badly no. for you. No. All right, so here's what we're doing. We're yes. splitting yes. it. Aren't there some good. I just wanted yes. to make sure, because, like, you know, there's, it's always like... So you're like, buying dinner. Whatever. It's fine. Sure. Oh, hello. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I love reading all the comments. I know how much you love it and depend on it. Well, make sure that you subscribe, share, like it, tell a friend, spread the word so that it is really worth my while to keep doing this and get doing hair and makeup and looking cute as well as being funny. You're welcome. I, okay, so <laughs> oh, I, wait. this You want a good story? This motherfucker. Yeah. We're sitting at sushi like, I don't know, maybe... Two months ago in the valley, I was like having kind of a shitty day, and I was like, you know, sitting there like talking to one of my my homies, right? Thinking he's gonna like, you know, be there for me. He fucking takes my credit card off the table when I'm not looking, and gives it to the fucking uh, uh, waitress, and it's by the way, it's him, myself, and Matt, his brother, and she makes me pay him a six hundred dollar lunch. <laughs> Wow. Literally. It's a bro thing. It's That's not a bro we're... thing. You're a dickwad. Okay, but also, I love how I Josh think... remembers that, but he doesn't remember when Altman picked up the fucking private jet. Oh, you did yeah. not. Oh, wait, maybe. Okay, let's... Are you allowed to swear here, yes. by the way? And let's okay, talk sorry, about... Sorry. What are you talking let's about? talk about the show, Josh and jo- Josh, that the world... Is falling in love you with. You know it, Josh and Josh, like, it's I'm the first Josh, though, right? Yes. It's just very important that you realize that. Well, what shouldn't it be that he's the first because he has an A name, Altman? Mm-hmm. No, that's not how it works. But he's usually on top, so it's like, oh, yeah, that's what it was. Got he's it. On the bottom. Got it. So I have Are you at, a bottom? Am I a bottom? Yes, I'm a very lazy bottom. Yeah. I'm not a power bottom at <laughs> all. I'm a pretty princess, yeah. a pillow princess. <laughs> I, uh, I don't want to learn any new tricks. Yeah. You don't want to sweat. You're lazy oh, as fuck, no. huh? You just sit there and do nothing. And it, it, Well, I do if it's vacation. Oh, or a birthday. <laughs> Yes, exactly. I'm like Lisa Vanderpump. <laughs> right, um, exactly. But wait, so we I had you guys on the show, then we became friends, and I got to go to all your fancy dinner parties, <laughs> which when we went to Dantana's the other night, and now listen. Honey, that was six months ago. When we went to Dantana's? No, it wasn't. <laughs> when we went in your car and the seat The other car. night? <laughs> Whatever. Listen, everything's the other night. And I asked, yeah. how did you get so obsessed with doing dinner parties. And you told me you started, your first dinner party was in high school or something. You said oh, right out of high that. school. I definitely believe that. And you were like, and you, and you say, you know, I just, I, I haven't measured of where, how far the plate is, the edge of the plate is to be from the edge of two the inches. table. Two inches. Yeah. And, and you get very annoyed when your staff doesn't, do they well, walk yeah, because, around uh, with a ruler? I, it's called a butler's dick. But yes, I am... A butler's dick? A butler's dick. Oh. Okay. But I'm going to call it a butler's thing. dick from now on. The uh, The reason why it upsets me is not because 
um, it's like maybe something that they should understand or know. But I have printed pictures, literally, with the measurements, with everything. You know, twelve inches between shoulders, two inches from the plate, from the from the base of the table. Like everything is laid out. So it's like like Helen Keller could figure this shit out, right? It's. Can't well, get it right. I just want to say I knew that there was a magical connection. The first dinner party I went to, and I went into your butler's kitchen, and I saw one of your many full sets of china, which is the platinum edition from Geary's, white with the platinum, and that was my wedding dishes. Is that the Oh, that's my set. Yes. That's why we get along. That's yes. why he throws these parties. He's been inheriting China since he was 16. No, this was for when you got China. You got to use it. No, this is from our <laughs> yeah. wedding. I don't yeah. own a China. It's not a China. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's not a country. It is a piece of. Uh, I don't porcelain. own one. Yeah, I go to I go to to what you call it right next to Starbucks on Beverly, uh, uh, on Pottery Beverly. Barn, Pottery Barn, <laughs> idiot, oh, okay. and pick up some plates. Yeah, um, yeah, it's nice. I, it, so, and barrel. And so the difference is. It's, yeah, as we know, Josh Flagg is Beverly Hills royalty, um, born <laughs> known as the. Wait, first of all, have you guys ever seen the movie Pretty in Pink? No. Yeah, I think. Okay, for my listeners, now I want you to think about the character of James Spader in Pretty in Pink. He's an asshole, he's a rich asshole at the school. And he wears, like, a suit. I think this is a compliment? Yes. <laughs> he wears, like, a suit at, like, 16. And he's like, mm, well, my friend is dating a mutant. I should be concerned. And he's smoking. And he says, we are going to have a viewing party. Okay, fine. And you are going to die Can we watch when that you back see to back your with husband. Is this Josh in high school? This is Josh in high school. Mm-hmm. 100%. Was he wearing a turtleneck? Because I always wore turtlenecks. He wore, like, leisure suits. Like, a full blazer and, like, expensive, like, Gucci slides. I wish I knew you I thought you wore polyester. Like, no, God I wish forbid. I knew Flag. I mean, you see tidbits of that. Yeah. Like, at his bar mitzvah, the Rolls Royce video. Yes. Which is gold. I mean, straight gold. <laughs> What's the I, Rolls Royce video? Uh, when he Rolls Royce. When, yeah, when he was like, hey, I'm Josh Flag. <laughs> Come to my bar mitzvah. This is my Rolls Royce. Let's go. Well, it was and my he, grandmother's. It wasn't mine. Well, yeah, but it was eventually going to be his. Weren't and you shining it? Yeah, I was polishing the spirit of ecstasy. <laughs> That's what they call the hood emblem, the spirit of ecstasy. Now, I've been watching the show from the beginning. And in the beginning, you guys, you, the two Joshes, were big competitors. And you didn't hate him as much as you hated Madison. Now, Madison is who your now wife, Heather Altman, worked for. Yes. He sucks a lot. Do you feel like you owe Madison your life? Because <laughs> if it wasn't for Madison, you would have never met Heather no, it's from, Altman. No, it's me that he owes his life to because it was my party. It was his open house. Oh. Which we actually drove by that house the other day because we're doing a deal around there. Heather and I jumped out of the car. Oh, really? I'll post it today. And we took a selfie video. This is where Josh Flagg's open house was 12 years ago where we met. Oh, that's wow. funny. I will tell you, it's a funny thing you just brought that up. Because, like, what do you owe to the person who introduced you, even though I didn't actually introduce you, but you met because of that person, if you hate that person? Do you send them a referral fee? Five million dollars. Do you send them... <laughs> Do you write a little thing into the prenup? I don't know. But do they deserve something? Because I don't have any ill feelings towards Madison anymore. Oh, I thought you right. were giving me the money. Yeah. Fuck him. No, I mean your will. Yeah, that, that doesn't benefit me. That benefits you. Yeah. No, no, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> one way so I don't have any ill will towards him anymore. But, of course, back then I did it to be an ass yeah. and steal his girl, even though it wasn't his, his, his girl who right. worked for him. She worked with him, yeah. But now it's like, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. I I, th- I think that I love when someone, I would love to be that person who's responsible for introducing a couple that have, la- I have not been that person. The person that introduced, that is responsible for Peter and I, is this guy, Brian Bender. Bender? Brian Bender, where are you? Are they taking a selfie in the middle of it? Yes, it's fine. <laughs> so He's the bottom. So were you wow. did you guys ever have real issues? I felt like you did yeah. in previous Us? Of Yes. So then how did the love affair begin and now this working relationship in real life and on TV? I'm really good in bed. And he just couldn't he just had to keep coming back for more. 
people. I love how people think that that was not real for ten. I've years. never heard anybody. You say can't that before. Fa- like, hey, so did you guys really hate each other now that you're friends? You don't understand. I never heard anybody. But I don't think anyone thinks it wasn't oh, real. We we really hated each other. Yeah, like spent hours a day figuring out <laughs> how to fuck the other one over. And what were some th- ways he oh did that? Oh my god. Well, I <laughs> fucked his wife. That was That you know, was weird. I sent that was dog a little shit intense. to his front door. Did yeah. you really no. send Okay. <laughs> what, really I was Madison wondering who that was. But what what are what were some things that you did? It was constant stealing of each other's listings yeah. and clients whenever it was we a good could. look. Okay, so I want yeah. I Now would, we just do it okay, and tell each I'm other ahead of time. A client. I want to be a client. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And this and the cameras are not there. This is just real life, and um, I'm going to do it to each of you. Sure. So you come to get my listing, and then so do the final pitch about like let's sign the papers right now, and then we're both going up against each other. You don't know it. Yeah, you, I, you don't come. know. You don't. You've come. You think it's a come get me. You think I'm ready to sign right now. So just yeah. But I don't know that no, you, you met with know. Flag. No, you don't know. Do you want to tell me I'm meeting with others and I met with and I say, no, oh, who'd you meet no, with? No, I'm not oh. telling you. You're coming. We're hitting it off. You, we've already set the date for the open house, everything. Yeah. So you're ready for me to sign the listing agreement. So just give your last thing to tell me to sign. Okay, right. hey, congrats. You just hired the greatest realtor on the planet. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for you to work with me. Well, <laughs> I'm a little bit torn. I think you're really fun. Um, but... I've been going this past year to this other. I don't know if you know him. His name's Josh Flag. Oh <laughs> God, you got to be kidding me! I've been going to his dinner parties, and he seems to have a lot of clients and a lot of connections. And so I did talk to him yesterday, but I said I had to think about it. And so now I'm kind of I don't know which one because both of you guys seem like you know a lot of people in Beverly Hills who will give me the top price yeah well here's the thing you don't live in Beverly Hills so you know Josh Flagg doesn't leave Beverly Hills he'll never show your property okay he will he's never available Uh, always on vacation (laughs) always on vacation yeah 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 really try calling him right now polo lounge I'll tell you what if he picks up his call right now okay you should go with him okay hold on Hold on. Just give me I call. mean, he seemed like he was like very committed, and then you'll never see. And him because again. he's gay, I thought that we would like get to hang out more. Oh, you didn't hear the thing? No, no, no. He's not gay anymore. What? <laughs> this is all the stuff I, that I would say. Yeah, because I wanted, because I kind of want a gay best friend. Okay, I'm calling him right now. Why isn't it going through? Exactly. Exactly. Well, that's oh my God! <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Okay. You're um, welcome. Thank you very much. Well, that's not fair. I'll I don't even get to pa- give I'll my. Send through the paperwork. <laughs> okay. So now, Josh Flag, yeah. you're following up to say when can you come over to have me sign the paperwork. So, um, hey, uh, Heather, it's Josh Flag. How are you? Oh, I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm so good. Thank you for asking me. So, um, you know, we had a really productive meeting, I, I thought, you know, and yeah. I really am looking forward to possibly working with you. Um, I just wanted to follow up and see if there's anything I can do. Um, yeah. Well, I loved meeting you, too, because you, you told me that I'm going to be invited to all the dinner parties. We hit it off for sure. Um, I love your husband. Yeah, we- and, like, I hit it off with him. And I'm really looking for, like... A fabulous gay couple to be my only friends. I'm not and gay. That's he's my roommate. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, you thought we were gay? Uh, we're so two dudes that live together. I'm definitely gay. Okay, well that was kind of the appeal. Otherwise, I think I'm going to go with Josh Altman because he's got a cute wife, well, and I think I'd like to have lunch with her. But why would you want to just? Why would you go with him just because he has? You know, like doesn't make any sense. Like, let's talk about like where you're. Well, he you, says that like you. To go on vacation. You don't care that you don't know how to drive past a certain point in LA. <laughs> well, and I mean, I, I, I don't do know how to live drive. in Woodland Hills, and I mean, I just feel like I think maybe he's just a little jealous, and he just wants to make sure that that you know I don't get this listing. So he's gonna you know he's gonna say whatever it takes. But you can't really believe everything you hear. I know you're probably really torn now, right? Can, can Bobby take my listing? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm on the valley. Yes, absolutely. 
So is that the kind of shit you guys used to pull? Wait, I guess so. The question is, do yeah. I break the news to him that you're going with me, or do you want to break oh, it to him? Oh, good that's line. The, oh, right. good line. That's a good one. Okay, so now that you guys are asshole buddies, as uh-huh. my dad would say. Um, oh, that's that should be the title of Josh and Josh. Asshole buddies. Asshole buddies. Josh and yes. Josh. Or Josh and Josh. Was that a gay porn? J- Josh and Josh, you just said. Like, Ask- is that I was- the Bel Air Hotel Asshole or the Hotel Asshole buddies Bel-Air? was like an old expression. Brown-eyed meaning friends. like you're just, be- you're just best friend. Like you're such cl- Yes, so you close. want to know how it goes down now? Yes, I want to know how it goes down now because I feel like you guys still have your own listings, but sometimes you share listings, but you really do care about each other. And then you have the connection of the show and the personal connection. So how what happens now? You want to go first? We have yeah, I mean, we have a, like a. So like, you're on the listing appointment. I met with Josh Altman. So what? What do you say? Wait, what? Now today. Now today. Oh, today. It's, I, it's, a, a, it's a. What do you call it? like a, a handshake agreement? It's we, we. It's not. We don't. We don't shit talk each other. Yeah, no, but it's it would go like that. this. Oh, you met with Flag. Awesome. Yeah. W- you want us to co-list it? And then I call Flag. Yo, got us a co-listing. He goes, Okay, cool. Will you do the showings? I'm like, mm-hmm. Can you do the showings? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Basically. <laughs> so. So if they bring up each other, then you guys have to co-list. We don't have to, but we actually. I've just... actually even brought him up in a meeting. But like, there's like, like the other day, actually, there was a house that I was in, and I was like, "This is." I actually said to him, "It was." I was like, I, "This is not my kind of a thing." Like, there's no way. Like, I'm really bad at um, when I don't believe in a property. I'm really bad at like servicing the listing and making the seller feel like you know they're still really, really important. I feel like he does a better job at that. Like. Maybe he's more optimistic. Like, I just think, like, this is going to be downhill. So, uh, you know, in that instance, I actually called him and I said, you got to go check out this house because it's fucking ugly as hell. And <laughs> oh, it shit. literally, he came back. He's like, dude, that was a great house. <laughs> <laughs> that was the sickest house ever. I was like, wow, the Starship Enterprise? It was literally looked like fucking Star Wars. So, fl- flag, you know, <laughs> we each have our own styles. Although I yes. think at the end of the day, we, we, we actually have similar styles, but... I'm definitely more known for the modern, you know, the newer. This wasn't about modern. This house was fucking ugly. It literally. It was a, it was a brand. It was a state of the art like piece of crap. <laughs> piece of art. <laughs> so, anyways, flags like you go. So we'll do that together, and then it'll be vice versa. So we actually we enjoy working together. Yeah. Can, oh, can you remove that picture? I hate that picture. We, by the way, I look like I just had my face done. <laughs> what? <laughs> Like, who chooses? They take 300 Horrible. pictures, and that's the one they That's took. the one? I feel like God. there's something going on with your neck. I look like a, like a, I don't even know what the, like, it's, you know, I do look thin, though. This is the poster for Million Dollar Listing. Oh, that's Gosh so disturbing. Gosh. Is it a touch screen? <laughs> um, yeah, so we work together That's a lot all I have, now. so we that's like staying it. up. Okay, yeah. so when this show that you guys did, nice. it's how <laughs> did you. That's called le- Real Leather. Oh, poor. Jeez. They get, they're rich. They, they get, get distracted. distracted. By shiny objects. Wow. Actually, you'll like wait, it even wait, better. Josh, when you, Josh, you, Josh wait, Black, when you have they... one of these cards, American Express sends this to you for free. Mm. Oh, you do have you a have, card? You're paying for dinner. Do you guys mm. have ADHD? Uh, well, attention deficit disorder, I yes. do. Yes. I guess and today do you the... have it? Uh, yeah, we have all of it. I don't think you have all ADHD. <laughs> ADD, ADHD, ABC, uh, obsessive compulsive, all of it. Do you take Adderall? No, I take fucking real estate listings and I crush them, and that keeps me going. Yeah. <laughs> um, I I want to ask you, uh, Bobby. I want to ask you, Bobby. How uh, how did you and Josh Flag meet? Oh my lord. Uh, we I mean we met <laughs> centuries ago, like uh, when we were babies, like at twenty one, <laughs> at a, like at a Sunday fun day. But yeah. we, we reconnected uh, this like in the summer of two thousand fifteen when I was selling a house in Malibu. Oh, we'd always like see each other out, flirt a little bit, and then that was like that was kind of it. And I sucked. His now, back. was Josh Altman invited to the fabulous wedding no. at the Beverly Hills Hotel? They weren't friends. He would have been oh, one of my best I am men. So disappointed. It's really, I'm so that. disappointed. If we were I friends two yeah. two years earlier, I'm actually sad I missed. If that. I could go back in time, that is what I would like to do. Oh, you didn't go either. I didn't know him, really. Oh, you guys are newer friends? Newer friends. <laughs> We've known You're each other idiot. longer than you've known them? My wedding was four years ago. Almost five. Well, I had, 
I can't remember the first time you came on the show, but then as sort of after that is when we sort of started after. doing social stuff. It was definitely after the wedding. But the first time I met Altman, he was cool, a just bought it. and they hated each other. It was backstage what? at once. I just bought it. <laughs> and what, oh, really? I, I, Go I ahead. Nervous. We were only dating for like, were we engaged? No, okay, we were engaged. We were probably together eight months. And I was yeah. like, he was like, all right, come to New York with me. We're going to do press. I'm like, Okay, I don't really know. And so yeah. I'm like backstage at Watch What Happens Live, and he walks in. I'm like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. And I'm like, he just walks straight up to me. He's like, hey, nice to meet you. I like your watch. And I was like, thank you. To so Josh like, Altman. Josh Altman did it to me. And because I was like, you knew how much Josh Flagg hated him. Well, I knew that they hated each other. Okay. So I was like, oh, and I was like, I looked at him, I go, he's such a gentleman. Like, why don't you like him? He goes, don't fucking talk to him. I go, okay. Do you see what I did there? What? This is like it's a move. I want to hear. I want to hear all it's the tips. It's a move of when you hate successful. somebody. Yeah. Always be really over friendly to their significant other, because then you really fuck them. <laughs> yeah. Because then, like, yeah, then they're like, "Why are you so?" Yes, horrible? and He's then you start delight. the inner fighting. That w- it was. It was all a plan. But yes, I definitely <laughs> like Bobby more. Yeah, and everyone so, does. Yeah. What's not to like? Yeah. And so, yeah, that's what it was. Or what about my mother and you were like on the street, like chit chatting? And... Oh, that's my girl. Yeah. yeah, yeah. His mom's my girl. Yeah, yeah. So then, and then okay. your dad. The second we had a cigar and whiskey, I was like, oh. <laughs> my, I will yeah. say his parents are, the best. are like. Very, very loving towards each other in public. Like, a, like you would think that they were just started to date. Is that true? Like forty two years ago. Yeah, wow. they're like a lovely couple. Yeah. I like. I'm obsessed with their like they're love for each other. other. She are... brings them breakfast in bed every morning. No. Yeah, every morning. I don't know about that. Heather I think she... Altman, do you, are you say? listening? Do you Maybe. feel? Heather? Do you feel, because sometimes, you know, people always blame their parents or their parents get divorced. They say, oh, that's why I'm fucked up with relationships. <laughs> Do you think when your parents are so madly in love always that it give, you can blame them now for screwing you up because they, you've, they've given you an unrealistic uh, expectation for a relationship? I don't, I, don't, I think it's something to, uh, to strive for. I don't think it's a, uh, um, I, I'm very happy that I got to see that. Right. Yeah. Aww. Good. And your parents are very cute together. We see your parents on the show now. And so so when the show, this new show, you guys are flying around to these different pro- different places and doing these deals. Like, how did this come? Wait, first of all, how did you finally break the hating from that one shared listing that you yeah, had did, in San Diego? We did Diego? a shared listing. The mo- look. At the, at, was it the Mondrian? But maybe you're right. I don't know. Maybe it was. We had gotten to a point in our careers where it started to get like, okay, what do we, like, oh, he did 500 million this year. I did 500 million this year. It's like, what are we really fighting about? Yeah. Like 10 million in listings. Is it worth that? And we were, you know, we're the OGs on the show at this point. And I think it was after that. It was after. he. Oh, yeah. No, he's definitely the OG. I came on two years after. It was like four. Eh, It was three. Wow. It's a negotiation. Actually, it was. It was. I, I, I'm negotiating with a terrorist. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we became. We the more we hung, the more we realized we're so opposite from each other that we're actually very alike. Like, yeah. I'm here. He's the entire circle over here. So in reality, we're this far apart, but we're actually this far apart. What the fuck are you talking? About? I don't know. It's some shit that I say in listening. Pictionary or what do we do? What is this? <laughs> I forgot people can't people can't see what I'm saying. They are. If they're they can't some, see some can what watch. You're no, they're driving they, in their car. They can't see what I'm saying right they now. They can watch. He's doing a circle, meaning like you're at the top of the circle, you're really far apart if you go to the bottom. But if you're right there next to each other, you can get it on. You can oh, just yeah. jump. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Anyways, that's how we became friends. But yes, Josh and Josh, we have so many listings now all over the country. That we were like, oh, you know what? Maybe it'd be funny to do this, and because we have a lot of fun, and they could catch the real us and behind the scenes, and our our better halves. Uh, we bring on Bobby and Heather, and we go sell these and travel, and that's what we were doing, and that's what. And the how show was. long was the, the whole thing filmed? Did you like jam it in in a few weeks or what? The easiest show to film in the world. Why are you holding up a sign that says twenty? She just we just so I know twenty go bucks. Ahead. I'll tell oh. you. So I know we're at 20 okay. minutes. We're not ending anytime soon. Go uh, on. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, what is that? What are you trying to signal to me? Yes. Uh, um, <laughs> the, yeah. So um, what was I talking about? You were saying how it's the easiest show to film. Oh, yeah. I think that we had 
don't, wouldn't you agree that this was like the easiest, in some ways actually the hardest, but in some, are you listening? No, I'm trying to get a selfie of the The yeah. easiest show to film ever? Yeah. In some way, no, sorry, actually it was a lot harder. <laughs> it was a great It was team. actually easy for me because I didn't have to book anything. He did. I just took, you know, we'll go, that was that was the <laughs> obsessive compulsive part of me. Yeah. Was I took in and basically set everything up. We had a great team. Yeah, fuck we that had a show. great time. The four of us together, camera or no camera, we're going to have the best time ever when we're together. And I think the reason for the success, because by the way, our finale was higher than the entire season of Million Dollar Listing, yeah. the entire season of Million Dollar Listing New York. And so, and I think what people gravitated to is just the fact that we are seeing part of what we don't get to see on Million Dollar Listing. When we post stuff about our families on Instagram, they always get more likes than the $50 million mansion that we post. And I think that's what people wanted. That's what they were starving for because you don't get to see that on Million Dollar Listing. There's so many of us on that so show. So you realize that your greatest asset was your children. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? Not that you're pimping time. out. Like, pimp out those kids. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see those yeah. babies and cute wife. That's it right. gets more likes than this million dollar listing, <laughs> $50 million listing. No, I think we're going to get another season, to be honest with you. Okay, well, in the next season, the can next I season. get the credit that I deserve? Because I told you I was you not deserve? happy with the production team. I did you? That sex thread. I don't remember. Yeah, that. did you see? <laughs> did you? Okay, so you guys have Dr. Drew on. Which was a fun segment. Twice. Yes. Twice. Yeah. He was actually Twice. almost I'm a sorry. Su- supporting <laughs> cast <laughs> member. I was not on the season at all. <laughs> well, you're not a shrink. What are you going to do? Give us the therapy? And they said, and it, you say, oh, I met Dr. Drew through some mutual friends. Wait, I didn't say that. <laughs> yes, you did. No way. <laughs> yeah, that you did. never come out of my on mouth. On a trip. In on fact, a trip. we've had a conversation where it you was said. my trip. You've said. I invited you. And then. You never say my name, Heather McDonald. They show me, but then they <laughs> randomly fuzz out like other people's faces <laughs> that are uh, stars too. Wait, and I'm like, why actually, wouldn't they just I'm ask really for the release? Good at this. You've even complimented me before and said I'm one of those friends that is always like invites the person. You know how yes. like when you like have a friend and yeah. then you meet somebody else that you like that other person more and then you yes. ditch the other person? Like right now, Lala absolutely is on a quest to fucking poach you guys. Right. So she's acting like let's all go out to dinner together, but no, no, no. I have a few. Oh, she she wants to befriend us. I know, but I'm saying she wants in. She wants in on on this. On my jam. On this. Yes. This is wow. And I've got a couple other friends that are like, when are we all going to go to dinner with Josh and Bobby and Josh Hotman? No, they don't say. They don't say me. It's fine. Let's be honest. Who are these other people? They go to dinner all the time with everybody. <laughs> You're like, the who's on the list? Yeah, yeah. who's on the list? I want to know. Hail. You know what we Hail. should the do? Point is, no, but you are good about then never excluding me, which I love. But I'm just saying, I'm sure in your confessional, you mentioned my name. The editors were like, we don't need to give that girl, Heather McDonald, whoever the fuck she Probably. is, one ounce of of breath on nah, Bravo. I really just think it was somebody who literally wasn't thinking and was just like like doing their job like well, an editor. They can just... make up for it uh, next season. Would when you, you like fly a part on me the show? on the jet. You want a part on the show? I want to be on the jet. Okay. I definitely want to do a Napa You're going to be on the wing. Um, do they not see you in white chicks? Hello? <laughs> I know. Like, come like, on. Right. Absolutely. Were you in that movie? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. yeah. So, Oscar okay. Nom. So, um, you make, you, you become friends. We do this show. Now, one of the episodes I saw was with your parents, Josh Altman, wanting to sell their home in, where was it? Some, Aspen. Aspen. And you get an offer and everything, and then Josh Flagg is like, I don't know why you want to sell it. <laughs> he actually said it in that voice exactly. <laughs> no, I don't know why you want to sell it. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. was that all real? He messed my sale up. Yeah. Do you know how much of commission I was going to make off of my parents? <laughs> But do you feel like you were pushing your parents to sell it when they really didn't want yeah, to? Yeah, 100%. My brother and I. Yeah. Uh, by the way, obviously, I was not taking commission. Let's just put that out there. My Why? brother and I, <laughs> I like to make decisions now at this point for our parents. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, we you know, we got him a house in Beverly Hills. Right, which was so cute. I cried during that episode, and I texted you. Yes. Oh, that was, that was very sweet, mother, that text. Thank as you. As a mother of two boys, I just thought it was the sweetest thing. Josh, I mean Josh Altman and his brother, um, 
find a house near their families and they, they are like, we want our parents to be close so that they can, you know, babysit for free, whatever. <laughs> and and you say, oh, just come look at this house. And they're being so cute about it. They're like, oh, we're going to go see Josh's new listing. To, and then they're like, we bought it for you. Yeah. So yeah. Sweet. So that that's why. Yeah. That's why we wanted them to sell Aspen. But at the end of the day, they, you know. Do you feel like maybe they don't want to live it all the time? That close to you. Fuck off. <laughs> like, what a nice gift. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> when, do, when do we go back to Aspen? We're just Listen, by ourselves. You don't think Matt and I bought a house that we could easily rent in two seconds <laughs> yeah, if we wanted to? Real. Let's be real. Uh, so whenever they don't want to come, uh, we got it handled. And uh, uh, yeah, we actually have made we made a good amount of money on that house because they're not here all the time. They live in Aspen full time. Yes. When they're not here, we have well doubled the amount of what it would have cost us mortgage wise every every. Wow. You and know, it, and every is year. it just the two of you? There's no other kids. Just oh, you and your we, brother. We were what was known as birth control in Boston growing up. We were horrible kids. <laughs> Why they had to remove. So they had to remove the diving board from the pool because we they thought we were going to kill each other. Yeah. Wow. Would you fight with each other? I think that's what he was trying to say. <laughs> oh, so you'd be like pushing each other off the diving board. My brother was three years older than me, so we, we used to f- he would beat my ass every single day. Every day. Like Sean. physically? Physically, because when there's a three-year difference when you're young, I have that's that. a huge difference. That's with my boys. And, so one, you know. and one time my son was getting really upset, and he's just like, Drake will never understand. He's such you a You named bully. your kid Drake? I know. Isn't that yes. amazing? Oh, my God. Drake what a Brandon. legend. And I said, listen, you you were born into a, an abusive relationship. <laughs> He's going to leave for college. You've got about six months left, and then you'll be free. Wait, but I don't that's know what to tell you. Changes. I'm sorry. Brandon needs to go start and hit the gym when Drake goes to college, right? Yes, yes. He's and getting bigger. And then he's going to yeah. come back just like Matt did, yeah. and then Josh beat his ass. And then we became best friends ever after that one fight. So Brandon... Tell him to hit me up. He can work okay, out with well, me in the morning. Okay, well, Peter, you're going to be embarrassed by this story. But so. what, Peter has a brother, too, and they're pretty. They're actually pretty close in age. And um, they're both, like, swimmers, and they're both tall. And so there's some, you know, jealousy shit gone down. <laughs> and right after I got married, I started hearing all these, like, horrific stories of, like, how his brother shot him a bunch of times with a BB gun. What? And then the dad <laughs> made him write... I will never shoot my brother again. Then he made he he told him to go ride his bike. He goes, "Oh, it's just a little um it's just a little hop or whatever, little, little jump." And he was in the hospital for like 10 days with a concussion. Oh, that's and, normal. And um wow. like and then the final was so then my mother-in-law says at our 25th wedding anniversary, now the boys are in their 20s, must have been boozing it up. But Peter basically said to his brother Tim, like, it's freaking odd. And they started to, like, fight each other. I mean, it's a horrible story, but I think it was that kind of thing. Like, I'm finally bigger than you or yeah. just as big, and I'm done. Like, That's I'm it. done with this. That's it. So oh, if wow. my kid— and they, alive or they, yes, kill him? Yes, they're alive, and they, they get along great. But it's like, that is very interesting to me, oh. that dynamic. And you're an only child. I, everyone oh. thinks that. I, am, I, I have a half-sister. Oh, because someone asked me about that sister, and I thought they're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Dana. Where does she live? Who did? Wait, who asked you? Like a how juicy he... scooper. They said, "Why doesn't he ever talk about his sister?" <laughs> <laughs> a juicy scooper. I love that. Yeah, yeah. She lives in San Francisco. Are you guys close? Yeah, I mean, we don't talk every day. Does she have my kids? Sister. She has two kids. It's horrible. Oh, horrible. okay. And then you, you have siblings. Yes. Yes. And you, you came from a more humble background. Is it hard to be with such a rich bitch? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think, think uh, that's a opposites attract. So that, that helps. That so I think funny. that's a compliment. <laughs> that's when I let him fool you. He now used, I know why this like, is a hit. He used to this like, go out with me in his gym clothes. We'd go to Churchill and drink beer and eat pizza. But, you know, like I like to eat caviar with him sometimes. Oh, I'm I like l- a little bit more... Well rounded. He likes a white tablecloth everywhere we go. I well, love the caviar. I love the whole thing. So like, you're a rich bitch too. I mean, I mean, yes. Yeah. No, she likes when other people pay yes, for the caviar. At other people's expense. I absolutely yes. love it. But 
I really come with bells on. Like when you guys invite me to stuff, even if it's not the super fancy thing and it's just I come over and you make me one of your good cocktails, I am thrilled. Let's talk about your your dog. George. The, <laughs> literally the elephant in the room. Literally. It is an <laughs> enormous <laughs> dog that I have to say is kind of dumb, as a guest coming over. It's not great. It's not great. It's not I mean, great. It's not it's great not. at all. It's not this job. He, he was in. He first of all, he's got to be the biggest. He's gotten the most screen time on any show. That dog, because he was so big, so big. We invited him horse. to Newport Beach to the ho- to our house. Yeah, and we're like, please listen. And it's you know you got. Why would tread you lightly. invite the dog? No, we didn't. We're like, hey, <laughs> it'd be cool if you could leave the dog at home because it's bigger <laughs> than both of our kids. Yeah. <laughs> He's a horse. Oh, shows up with the dog. This morning, I'm literally in bed, and it's literally just like licking my face. I get the fu- I literally said, "Get the fuck off of me!" I had to keep pushing him off. It just keeps coming back. Literally. I mean, the story behind the dog is you fell in love with Tracy, yes. your co-star, and you love her. She's been on this show too. She, a hoe. she had a version <laughs> of this dog. She for what sure, is- a hoe, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm happy for her yeah, she that she is. Yeah. I mean, the boyfriend's very cute. Yeah. And uh, she- yes. And yeah, he's hot. And of course, when we took a photo at your birthday, of course, every gay Juicy Scooper is like, assume that he was gay too. Like, I just had a gay day. <laughs> and I'm like, no, no. he's a straighty. Sorry. Sorry to break it to you. A switch happened years ago where straight guys started looking way better than gay men. Like, they got all the stacked bodies. Oh. And, great. and then gay men just said, oh, okay, I'll look like a truck driver. Like, oh, I you think there's being a switched. switcheroo? For sure. I don't see I that. I don't look like uh, her boyfriend at all. Yeah. He's stacked. Well, I always like, said, I always oh. said, one of the happiest days of my life will be when Peter finally just comes out. And he's shown no, he's shown no <laughs> gay tendencies at all. But you always hear about people being like, and then my husband came out gay after right. all these years. Oh, it was terrible. I'm like, wouldn't be terrible unless he <laughs> fell in love with another Peter. Like, I want a Bobby. Would you rather him have an affair with a woman or a man? Um, a gay man that's my type. Oh, you want a thruple? I want, like, a Bobby. <laughs> I want, like... Well, we or can try this out. I want, I want, like, a gay guy that's going to be my best friend, not another bear. Do you know what I mean? Like, definitely a bear. Not a bear. Yeah, I don't I'm want a, that. I'm an otter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an otter. That is a real thing, right? Yes. There's otters... Okay. Twinks, twonks. Okay, twinks. Bears. What is a twink? Twink. Twink is a uh, a twink that's merging into like a man. Like they're they're a little thicker. So what's he? Oh, uh, he's daddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's go through. Okay, there. Okay, there's daddy a Warbucks. bear. Okay. Daddy okay, Warbucks. Okay, I want to go through the thing. Okay, we know. So a bear is a bear. He's okay. A bear. No, and then there's a daddy, which is like. Describe that. I I see the daddy in the gay world like yeah, daddy. They they look like. A straight dad, but they're like put together. Is that what a daddy I'll is? Show you what well, is. Hold on I mean, you could call anybody a dad, but a bear's yeah, you know they're thick. They, they enjoy they enjoy food. Right. I they're know, not they're, they're not waxing their they're chest. Not grooming really. Yeah, they yeah. Probably smell like Budweiser and cigars. Okay. Which is great, you know. And but then Silver Lake, you can find a lot of them. And then Silver Lake. This yeah. Is a daddy. Okay. I love Silver Lake. <laughs> oh my. God, don't, 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 don't show me anything that's going to stick in my head forever. Ay, Dios mio. Jesus. God, I'm trying to keep this classy. God, flag. Classy, trashy. Okay. Just tell the audience what I just showed you. I, don't, I couldn't even see it. I, I don't want to see it. Okay, so this is, this is, this is where... Josh can be really funny, and then it like takes a left turn, <laughs> and then you have to be. And he's like, "Why? Why wasn't that funny? Why? Why was it inappropriate? Did I say something wrong?" And then I have to tell myself he identifies as an eighty-year-old woman, and an eighty-year-old woman says inappropriate things sometimes in twenty twenty-two. Right, because yeah. they can get away with it because yeah. they're almost dead. Yeah, but yeah. a, a thirty whatever you are gay man who in L.A. in 2022 should not be talking the way Josh Flagg does. So I guess I'm going to get rid of the gay porn. Okay, so then... Okay, so there's Daddy, My there's gosh. Twink. Wait, a Twink is a young... a like, young, like slender, young, pretty, hairless. Okay. Like a cat. 
And then an otter like is an cat. older is an otter yeah. an older what twink. Kind of cat doesn't no, have? Josh would be an otter. Yeah, he would be an otter. I'm an an otter. older twink. If he wasn't wearing so much Gucci and all that stuff. No, an otter. otter is just like like a more straightish looking. No, gay an guy. otter is a slender like a slender bear. Like you're hairy, but you're slender. You oh yeah, you have hair. Yeah, okay, yeah. I got it. Like and then what you, else I'm, is there? You said a new otter, word. Otter, twonk, bear. Twonk. What's a twonk? A twink, a twink is like a twink that's kind of, you know, maybe coming up. into like their 30s, getting a little thicker. Oh, okay. Which also so great. which 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 type is the best real estate agent? Like are twinks better than twonks? No, mm. the twinks are or not. Or are bears real estate just killing it? Yes. Well, All right, let's not hear that. your juicy okay. questions. Okay, what do you think of the tiny twins? The from, what? The, I call them the tiny twins. They're the guys from Selling Sunset. The Oppenheims? Yes. <laughs> I was thinking that. <laughs> They're a brother team. Do you think they have more magic because they share the same DNA versus you and your brother? Because you're the just same you're just, DNA. Yeah, identical twins share the same DNA. So you, one could kill somebody and they wouldn't know which one did Wait, it. Well, I'm not identical twins. I know. Do you think they share more <laughs> real estate power because they're identical boy twins and you are boy just twins. normal brothers? Oh, that's a great question. No, thank you. Okay, no. No, they're they're very actually they're nice. We're friends with them, yeah. um, but I don't know. My sis, my assistant you... sold more than them last year. So <laughs> oh, whoa! Oh, you are on it today. Do you think that what did no? What, but the fake drama on the show is really entertaining. Did, did any of you guys just be honest? Or the agents feel on the show a, that are do not you agents? Ever, do any of you people feel a little like twinge of jealousy about? No. Uh, other real estate shows about LA, like that Wait, do one. Do we have any jealousy? Like, like a really another one. Like we were, we've been doing this for no, twelve we're years. We're proud of it because we're the original. Like literally, everyone else came after us. And okay, we're the that's longest good. on air. This is season fifteen. We're Maybe. the OGs. Come on. I'm OG just wondering. Does it bother you? We're when ready people, to retire. Does it bother you when people copy? We've been you? trying to retire. We've been trying to pass the torch. Just nobody can t- fill our shoes. Has, like all, speaking of copying and stuff. Like, have you ever seen other realtors? Maybe even back in the day before you were as successful as you were, like copy your style or copy like a letter that you sent out to people. Like, have you ever? My letters are epic. Oh, they are. I get responses. Yeah. <laughs> My okay. letters are epic. So you send a letter like to like, your... I hate when I like, you know, like we get letters in our mailbox. Like, right. Because they don't know it's us or whatever. Right, exactly. And I look at these letters and I literally sometimes From other call realtors. the people and, I'm le- and I say to the, the, the yeah, the other day, I'm like, can I give you some advice and some tips here? Like, th- ha- the things that I literally like... Give no the tips one would... right now. I've got a lot of realtors that listen. Tell okay. the tips. Um, I wouldn't start off by saying, um, hi, uh, uh, whatever your name is. Um the market is on fire and interest rates are low. Have you considered putting your house on the market? Like it's just like you're you're selling. Like, all this is what you do. You write a letter and you say, "Hi, whatever your name is." Um, I know you probably get a hundred letters all the time, and um, if I'm bothering you or something to the effect of this, please throw this away. This is not a solicitation for a listing. I have a buyer for this house. I'm not sending this to a hundred different houses, even though I am. I want to just. Uh, no, would you ever consider selling this house? It's the one house that, you know, my client drives by every day and asks me and I was, I said, they're never going to sell it. You know, like, let's leave these people on. But if I don't try, you know, I'll never know. And I am wet right now. Right. I am ready <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. to sell wow. my house. You're ready to sell your because house, right? it does, the thing about being a homeowner with your house, especially if you've been in it a long time, it's a turn on. That somebody wants it. It's literally, and if you've been married, it's like you're out dating again. And you're like, holy shit, I have three offers. Yeah. <laughs> like, so you really want that feeling. And so I think your letter is great. And I've gotten a couple. And one time this girl sent us, remember? And I was like, and it was like a cute family. And she, and I was like, oh, this is like us a few years ago. Like, I literally just wanted to like sell it to her. But I mean, then I was like, is this a BS thing? Is this girl was. really the br- the sister of a broker that's trying to break into this sure. neighborhood? She was a hoe. She rented the kids. <laughs> it's rent a kid. You rent a TV. What do you think about offers where people then include their cute family? You mean photos? Yes. I don't like that's cheese ball. I don't like you, it. You won't show those cute photos to your people? I, I will show. I have to show them whatever they send. I just think it's, it's well, like when you're, you're repre- like slutting at your children like to get this house. Like, well, like a Josh Holtman. Yeah. You're yeah. totally whoring out the kids for this house. Yeah. They're going to they gotta pay their way. So when you, if you, have you ever written offers where you do have 
an idyllic family. Idyllic. And it's what? Idyllic family. And like where you know that this older couple, where you convince them and you say, this adorable family loves this house because of your kitchen tile and your backyard. So then the people are like, they're not going to knock it down and make it in a modern farmhouse. Like, I think that's a smart thing to do. If I was representing buyers and the people living in the house had been there a long time and they're moving on to like their retirement home and they've raised their kids and I had a cute family, I would be like, my... I know it's about the dollars, but let me just tell you who is going to enjoy your family, this house for the next 20 years. And they are not going to knock it down. They're not a developer. They, you know, love what you did with it. I think that is very appealing to certain people. I think you should become a broker. I, I, wa- I was Come a realtor. I was a realtor. I'm not anymore. You know, you let your license go. Well, Why I have you. That? I have you. Apparently, you just you just give up your commission to good girlfriends. Oh yeah, absolutely. yeah. <laughs> so, to, for people that don't know, Tracy, our girl Tracy, wanted yeah. her house, and it was your listing, right? Was mm-hmm. it your listing, and you gave up the entire commission, mm-hmm. and that is true. Mm-hmm. Wow. See, that's when people <laughs> don't realize how nice that. you are. <laughs> That really is nice. And a lot of people talked about that moment. <laughs> they cried. Weirdest room in a house. Have you ever had He was going to sell me a house. Yeah. There was a listing. I was interested. And he called me one night drunk. Said, I want you to have this house. I'm going to do it for free. And I called him the next morning. I said, dude, you are such a gentleman. I fucking love you, bro. And you know what he said? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> But he said, you know what? I, I would wrong. do it. He said, you know what? I would do it. I would do it. Fine. Fine. I'll do it. And, and he did so, it? Yeah. No. No. Well, I didn't end up buying the house, but. That's uh, a whole different fucking story. Yeah. It's a whole different story. What a disaster. But. Oh. Uh, no. He's, he is. Yeah. No. If you want to buy or sell your house and have someone do it for free, <laughs> flag is always available. And we plow him with alcohol. Fuck <laughs> you. Really good wine. Or just plow him. Uh, yeah. Or just plow him. Or just plow him. Yes. Um, weirdest room in a home. Like, have you ever had to show a house with a sex dungeon yes. or something strange or that almost looks sinister and you have to like walk people through There's what you're going to say? One sold, like the castle, the medieval one and the gothic one. Oh, yeah. That had a sex dungeon. That yeah, it did. so ugly. I'm yeah, it did. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. We, I remember going on a tour. This was super early in our career. I remember going on a listing appointment. The lady opens up the door. It's my brother and I. Yeah. And, you know, lady? that, no, my brother and I would walk in and, and she's giving us the tour. And my brother, like, elbows me. And I'm like, what? He's like, look at the pictures. And they were all nude pictures of, of the lady giving us the tour throughout the house. And I'm just like, I'll take this one. He says, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the list? Because we, you know, one of us usually steps forward and takes, the, takes and it while the other the one. Sleeps with the client? Huh? And sleeps with the client? No, 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 no. Oh. Takes the, 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 runs with the listing. Oh, yeah, no, I no, thought no, you no, were no. saying that no. what, in those early days, you guys had to pimp out yourselves. No, I, no. Like a ta- I never like tag did. team he hookers, did. where it's Why like, not? oh, it's your no. turn to I get the hand job. Man, I didn't do that. <laughs> I he totally did. They, they did. What did you do? Don't look me I, into I've this totally crap. fucked in people's listings before. Wow. Oh, God. With, with a boyfriend or another broker that was happened to be at the open house? No, it was like, this is like 15 years ago, some twink. See? That wait twink. was it what was a twink a there twink you brought or like you're at an open house you see a twink in the corner that uh, just got his license no but and I'm you're like to say let's that go my last assistant uh, uh, when we uh, yeah I can't say the, the the person's name he's a dog okay. walker now okay. uh, that's, that shows you how far he went from his career with me uh, he uh, went to um, um, one of my open houses and he I was told when we he was departing he let let it be known to us that he was blowing. Um, other realtors in my open house. Just one time at an open house. That we know of. Bel Air. Yeah. Slow day. <laughs> yeah. Normal. And you told me, I think you told me that you were, you've been solicited have you, by other brokers back in the day. Me. No old, no old uh, brokers or male client or male clients oh. that tried to get you in the sack like one presenting one guy that, was, that actually ended up rent, running for governor i can't say his name tried to fuck me on the on the tram up to the getty center on the tram on the tram you know that little tram that goes how up? long is it kind that's that, how long is that ride it was the fucking ride from hell i can tell you it was the longest ride of my life how did he say it i want to fuck you in this tram <laughs> <laughs> did it look like this <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and I go, and this guy was married. This is never going to air, this whole thing. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course it will. He's like, Boo. yes. This, this person happened to be uh, married to a very, very famous woman at one time, and uh, this guy ended up running for mayor. I, not mayor, excuse me, governor, actually. Uh, I don't want to say who, but you was probably. Was it Arnold? No. It's, no, it was a. Uh, Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yes. Okay. So, wow. very juicy, but you turned him down. A fuck yeah. He was old what, as fuck. Was there anything to, like, was it, Why would and I'll to? ditch you the like, listing? He was, I think he thought that. I was like, I'm not fucking sucking your dick for a listing. Oh, God, I'm glad. Like, what the fuck? I could give a shit. And then you said, you know who you should talk to is Josh Altman. <laughs> yeah. And then I gave him Josh Altman's number. <laughs> Um, what about you? Wow. What, what about you? Did anybody ever try to solicit sex from you in exchange for a listing or something like that? Or pretend that they were interested in looking for houses, but they really wanted to date you? I've had the pretend, yes, like to kind of take me on a date. But, uh, you know, when I was good looking enough to have somebody want to fuck me for a listing, I didn't have any listings. I was like taking as, buyers As if he's around. like ugly. I was just yeah. taking buyers I around. love handsome dudes that are like, yeah, that's I'm not good that. looking. You're like, like put a fucking up. bag on your head. Yeah. You're so hideous <laughs> to look at me. We'll poke some holes for you like, to see out of it. Really don't want Careful it. with that joke. Yeah. <laughs> listen, listen. If okay. Bobby worked at the Altman Brothers, he'd be making 10 mil a year. Because oh, I, I would be, be so pimp. Happy. I would be pimping his wet. ass out so, all now what day if- long. Uh, but just wait, the Altman Brothers all day. Okay, because what is your situation? You have your own listings, but do you uh, work sometimes with jo- with Josh Flag, your husband, or <laughs> Josh no? Flag, that's what I call him. Call yeah, him, hi, Josh Flag. <laughs> uh, like, could you jump to the Altman Brothers or no? In a hot fucking second. <laughs> um, but I have my own office. Yes, and I have my own like team. Okay, but everything is under his name, and all of the leads come through his office and all of that stuff. Josh Flag. But like, yeah. I'll just take them, and then I run with them, and I just call them and say, "All right, this deal's closing today." Oh, okay, good. Now, someone said, uh, "Where do you think is the best place to invest in real estate in the USA right now? Beverly Some Hills. cities." Okay, besides that, my pocket. Miami. Okay. Miami. 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 Yeah. Miami. Where are New York, wait. Beverly Hills. I mean. If you can afford it. Cleveland, in Ohio. Areas, yeah. Because the it, prices are crazy. I mean. Do you it, think there's a, like a hot up and coming city that, that you predict will be a hit like in a few years or anything like that? Not Silver Lake. Wait, what? but isn't, isn't I hate Austin, that shit I used to live in Silver Lake. I hate Wait, that shithole. I used to live out there. Oh, my God. I never liked it what either. What a shithole. All my friends, back, back in my days of like acting and stuff, all my friends, when they got a sitcom or whatever, wanted Silver Lake. Yeah, And I'd Silver be like, Lake. and yep. you... Why would you want to live in this shithole? I don't know. It's cool. That was flag, by the way. Cool this is Silver Altman yes. right here. Altman says he loves Silver Lake. Oh, if you want to sell your house, we are gonna get yeah, right. give me a so call. That's fine. I don't want your Andrew. calls from Silver Lake. Also, <laughs> also take I could take you to Akbar. Also, after. don't you I mean, like, drive? I, all those. I used to there, live right? in. I used to live in you Silver Lake. Akbar, the gay bar. Oh no! Oh, you're I, thinking oh, of a different oh, one. Uh, Trust a me, bar. I took a straight guy there once with his wife, and I was like, "Oh, I forgot that they really show everything." Well, there are a lot of gay bars there up yeah. and down that. Yeah, because it used to be the old leather district right what? there. Yes, they still have a couple left. Yeah, yeah. Yep. What does that mean? That Shocking. you walk around in chaps with your ass out? It was like uh, you. you yeah, explain I brought my it. friend's husband, and like after we went to go see a, a play, and I was like, "Let's go to a gay bar over here," and they're like, "All right." And I forgot that was gonna be like the Abbey, but like a little yeah. leather. And we walk in, and these guys are like in leather chaps and jock straps, and they're like showing off their hole and everything. I was like, oh my God. And there was like porn on the TV. And I was like, do you want to leave, James? And he's like, well, I'm okay. Here's 20. Go tip the guy. I was like, oh, I like how you roll, bro. <laughs> and That's my kind of guy. S- speaking of Silver Lake, isn't the Scientology Center right there? Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. On sun- is this Sunset? Yeah. No. Have you had no, any? No, no. We don't, don't have enough security no, for this. No. Anyways. Why? Because I don't want to talk about people's religions and shit. It's not a. No, I don't do that. know what Scientology is. I, I know him? what it is. I've seen the documentary. Okay. <laughs> call Leah Remini. You want, should I call Leah Remini right now? Sure. She's going to get mad. Oh, are um, you going to get me in her house or no? Yeah. Right. Someone, someone's upset, Josh Flagg, that you charge $400 for a cameo. Ooh. I should charge 600 <laughs> That's so funny. So, yeah. hey, Flagg and I, our account? we were, I don't know, we were busy you living the ball. our lives. No. Yes. We, we are going to, we set, we set up an account, a Josh and Josh, where you get both of us. And we were trying to come up with what we should charge. Yeah. Right. He was totally underselling it. He was like, let's, uh, 400 bucks. I'd be like, no, I get that for myself. Yeah. So he's like, priced it at 800 bucks. Yeah. 
So, anyways, I think we did it, but we just never you said it. I don't up. think you've activated it. I don't think so. Well, maybe it's just too expensive. I'll have, have my cameo rep contact you, and then I get fifteen percent. Oh of no, everything I know, you do. I know. They, they. By the way, it was a great idea. Great, great business idea. It really is. Yeah. Don't don't contact us. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah. Of course, this is the question. Do you guys want children? I've wanted them for about five years. Uh. Children, are at, I, I'm 36. I really don't want to have a child at 36. You wanted to have one at 32. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? You might have a lot around town. You never know. Yeah. He's very busy in his well, life. Well, by the way, I, I had a kid at 40 and 38, so you're good. My dad was 40 when he had me. 42. Well, I definitely think 40s is fine. I don't think you have to have it today. So. It's not like your eggs are drying up. I think so. You have a little time to Sperm think about dust. it. It comes out like dust probably. When you're in the <laughs> Does that happen? I don't think so. Well, men, men can have babies very late, but for some men, yeah, their potency does go down. None of us are Kirk Douglas or whatever. His name Kirk is. Douglas? Michael, Michael Douglas. Didn't he have him at like 70? I don't... Did he? With Catherine? Mm. Anyways. Do you ever have to get like in between the two Joshes and settle an argument or a misunderstanding or anything. I mean, it's part of my fantasy, uh, but <laughs> only when we were actually in, in Napa, uh, Heather and I tried to diffuse their, their spat. Cause I really wanted to f- eat my dessert and finish like my CBD drink, but they were like, wee, 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 or you do a better impression. And of Josh. What, what was no, the fight you guys, about? I will give it to you guys. You guys actually, Bobby and Heather straight up choose sides and there's no like, there's no loyalty. They, they, whoever they think is right, <laughs> they will back. So, like, if Josh and I are out of line, like, like we don't know who's going to be on whose side. What was the fight about? He called up. He closed a deal without telling me on a client that we were working with together. Why didn't you tell? Burn pick lies. up your mic. You pick up your mic. Okay. Okay. Why didn't you tell him? I didn't need to tell him. I don't even remember what the fight was about. Don't it was happen. because I was trying to tr- I was trying to give him a taste of his own medicine okay. and not show up to a couple showings. All right. But he thought I was going to show up, but I just ghosted him. Yes. Then he closed the deal without telling me in response of instead of saying, "Hey, you we're got his gonna, commission." We're gonna... the fuck? Right. But I, I felt like he did that on purpose. So it was a big war, and then we were like, "I'm going. I'm not going home with you. Oh, I'm not going home. It was just like you know. <laughs> We got in a big fight, and that was ep- that was episode three. And then we fucked, and then we made it, you know, it's all good again. And- you, oh, God, you always go back to that. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> I got the pleasure of getting really drunk this past weekend in Vegas <laughs> and stumbling out of the nightclub only to run into Josh Altman and Heather Altman. Tell me about your Vegas weekend, because you started you to tell me. You hammered. Night. Hammered. I, I, I would you, hope you look, I was you look hammered. Like uh, your pictures. I'm walking oh, out you. down the hall in the Win Encore. Heather and a girlfriend stumbling out of excess. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like and that. like you were, <laughs> it was great. It, Heather drunk is awesome, by the way, for anybody, all you juicies. What's Heather? What Scoopers. Do we call Scoopers. Scoopers. You pooper, Scoopers. All you pooper all Scoopers, 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 Scoopers out yeah. there. Heather drunk is amazing. Yeah, we ran into her. We had a blast. I was down there because it was Heather's birthday. Yes, your and, Heather. And, and yeah, my Heather. And there your was a- dinner party seemed amazing. And- I get why Heather Altman did not like respond to my text until like <laughs> after she landed in LA. Right. She probably was like, "Oh fuck!" She probably will want to weasel in on this dinner party. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> That's so funny. So basically, we were. I, she has a favorite chef in LA that moved to Vegas, and so I wanted to surprise her, and we hired the chef in Vegas to do a dinner party for her girlfriends. Now you can't you can't get a chef to cook in the hotel suite at the Encore, right? right. right? There's no kitchens. So I'm like, all right, I got to rent a house for five hours, prep time. And, and, yeah. and oh, this shouldn't be that hard. I got a bunch of realtor friends, called everybody. Hey, do you have a listing that I can rent for five hours? And no one wanted to give it to us. And so uh, I'm like, who do I know? And it's like, oh, my client Gene Simmons. Hold on. From Kiss. Shut From up. Kiss. I'm like, Uncle Gene. He goes, yes, Cousin Josh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he talks, you know, we have a funny yeah. relationship. He's the greatest guy I've funny. ever met. Yes. I was like, Gene, can I use your house to throw a party in Vegas? And he goes, haven't been there in a while. All yours. <laughs> and I go, I'm, oh, my God. I just got Gene Simmons' house to throw a party, which, by the way, it's on the market, $13.5 million. It's, it's, it's 13,000 square feet of 
awesome modern house that overlooks the entire strip. So it's a penthouse or where? No, is no, it? it's a mansion. Where How does it look over in Henderson? Oh, okay. overlooking all of Las Vegas. So I'm like, oh, this is the greatest thing ever. So we threw a dinner party. At Gene Simmons' house, so the we did a bunch of video. Amazing. We're like, "Hey, Uncle Gene, check it out!" And he was—he's the best. I love him. I love doing business with him. Uh, and it's uh, he speaks Hebrew. So yeah. this wasn't a surprise. She knew she was going to get the well, dinner. Well, at some point, like I don't. She knows I'm not capable of calling her girlfriends and getting everything yeah. set up. So I was like, "I'm doing this, but you got to do it." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it was all just girls. No one brought their husbands. No, 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 no. Oh. No, we brought our. Everybody brought their husbands oh, okay. and, and and everything. And she's from Vegas, so we had her family there too. Anyways, long story well, why short, weren't they, we had a why blast. weren't they invited? Yeah, why the fuck were we I don't invited? Have tits. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why you weren't invited. It was a it was a last <laughs> second. It was a last oh, second thing. We were birthday party. It was her oh, girlfriend. Oh, oh, that's oh, what thank you God. were. In thank God. By that just way, got so awkward. Let's talk about that. They were in Hawaii yeah. for six weeks. That's a- bullshit. It was five. Five weeks. Who goes on vacation for five weeks? You I'm gonna start money? going there. Honestly, was like it three really days five a month. Weeks? Just, no, it was like three weeks. Do you know how like much a- money he loses every year when he goes to Hawaii for three and a half weeks? I can tell you how much money I make when I go to Hawaii. I know but- because aren't you just on your computer the whole day? He, no, he I literally sit there and just no. Literally, people come up to me are like, "Hey, I want to buy a house." I'm like, "I'm on vacation, but this is great. I'm getting paid to be here." A bit. He was oh, gone for half of the Josh and Josh season. We were supposed to do. All this media, everything. Josh is in Hawaii. Yeah, gone. By the way, we didn't even do Can't mic. Yeah, you with your mic. By the way, the guy didn't even, um, we didn't really do anything for us. You weren't guy. here. No, we, he still could do stuff for us. I don't know. Well, you really don't have to do anything more because now you're on Juicy Scoop. So get ready for your life to change. <laughs> All right, well, this has been fun. I'm going to go. This is really fun. Yeah. Josh and Josh and Bobby, I love you all. I love our friendship. And we've established we're that we're paying for dinner and, tonight. And I would have loved to have had Heather as well. But I was I was worried that even having three would be like an undertaking. But I want to have Heather back because she has a really juicy life story. And she's a real inspiration, I think, to a lot of women that would listen to the show. And it's not just that she snagged the hottest guy in all of L.A. I'm not dating her. <laughs> Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would love to marry her. That'd be great. We have a lot of fun. Yes. So, everybody- but I will say the one of the I I don't do podcasts often, especially never for free. That's right. <laughs> this, this motherfucker is- the other day calls me. I yeah. go, I'm doing a podcast. He goes, Yeah, I charge five ten thousand dollars. I'm like, What the fuck? Who the fuck would pay to have you on a podcast? Well, yeah, people we're, do. We're, we're, people we're do we're pay, but I yeah. don't pay. But anyways, this yes. is one of the only. I just want to say this is one of the only ones I would do for free. We love you. I totally Aww. would listen to your podcast if I ever listened to, po- to podcasts. Well, you're going to listen to this wow. one, and you're going to love wow. it, and then you're going to be hooked. And so follow <laughs> – tell everybody where to follow you. Also, what I love about Bobby's Bobby's uh, Instagram is he does all these delicious recipes, and they're funny. Oh. So not only are you getting, like, a delicious <laughs> cocktail and food recipe, but you're getting, like, a little funny – sketch too in it yeah i like to make people laugh i mean not as much as you can but you know do what i can selling yourself it's really funny it's eye candy it's food i want those buffalo chicken breasts it's It's amazing buffalo Buffalo chicken titties yes i I want that and i I still want the even though it's not the holidays anymore i want the peppermint uh cocktail oh i still have the the ice cream left over from it so i can do that all right you can see this all on tiktok on bobby boy living so i follow him on tiktok halfway through the day i'm like I just get hungry watching what he's doing. I know. Yeah. It's yeah. so it's good. Like when I watch you walk in those pants, I just get yeah, hungry. Yeah, these are kind of tight. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are shooting below the table, but <laughs> there's some wedgie going on Every right now. Every time we're together, I always take pictures of his crotch because he always wears these tight pants, whether they're like trousers or jeans. <laughs> and, and then I'll send it to the group text yeah, and I'll be like, what? I know what Heather's having for oh. dinner tonight. Oh, my. <laughs> it's a T-bone. Obviously, Josh Alban, Josh Flagg, follow them for funny stuff. Cute family stuff, and then also sick listings, all of them. But it's okay, but on a new Instagram too. We have a Josh and Josh official. Oh, Instagram. good. What is it? Josh and Josh official. That's it. Yeah. Why don't you guys start an OnlyFans? That'd be hot. We could do that. But listen, some some lady rolled up and said, "I want to see houses for six million cash deal," and I was like, "Okay, what do you do?" She said, "I'm on OnlyFans." Yeah. I was like, "Oh my god!" Job. Did you sell her house? Uh, no, I did not. You gave it up to someone else? I gave it to one of the younger guys <laughs> oh. in my office because, uh, yeah, I should. 
didn't want to be no porn rolling around with her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, that's pretty yeah, juicy. You know. Well, thank you. Well, thank you, everyone. Us.